Hi, my name is Luke, and I'm here with the Royal Alberta College to help you enroll in your first course. So you have received an email with the complete pre-screening questions on it. If you're able to click this link, it'll lead you to a web page. On this web page, you'll be asked to enter in a few pieces of information about yourself. So first, we'll enter in our year of birth, then our email address. This email address is the best email that you will get correspondence through. Enter in your first name. Enter in the city or town where you live and the province where you reside in. Make sure to put in your postal code right below this as well. And then below this, there will be a bit more information about yourself that you will enter in. Just so depending on your gender, residency status, any kind of education in the past, employment. And then at the bottom, uh, it says, please select the courses that you're interested in. So I'm interested in job readiness. So I click that and then you're able to go and submit your form. Upon submitting your form, you will see a confirmation and then we will go back to our email where we will then get another email allowing us to go and sign up for IBM. This may take a couple of minutes, so just hold tight. And then now we see it at the top there. So as we open it up, we get a little congratulations, a little bit of confetti. And then now at the top, there's a button for IBM Skills Build sign up. So this is the first step to signing up for your course. So make sure to click this link and then follow it to the next web page. So upon getting here, we have to create our custom ID. So click this link and it'll lead us to the next page where we will go and enter in information. So here I started already signing up, however, or signing in, I should say. However, we actually have to sign up first. So below the sign in button, there's a sign up button, which is what we will follow right here. So we're here now, so we will enter in our first name, then our last name, email address, and then create a password for the IBM skills build. Okay, make sure to confirm your password and then hit sign up. So we got a confirmation and a confirmation email as well. It will be sent to us. We will then receive this and we'll have to verify our email address to ensure that it's actually us that received it. So here, we have a big verify button. Make sure to click that and it'll bring you back to the IBM page. Now, once we're here, we'll now use our login information to create our custom ID. So all my information was saved and I hit sign in. So now we need a multi-factor authentication just to verify that it's actually us signing in and we'll look back at our email and we'll have received a one-time passcode. This passcode, you can just copy and paste it back into the multi-factor authentication and then hit continue. Perfect. So hi Luke, we're so glad you're here. So let's go get you set up. So you can enter in your first name, then your family name. Our email is saved. And so right now, since I'm doing the job, Brianis, I'm looking for a job. So where are you located? So for me, I'm located in Canada. So fill that information and I'm in Alberta. So I hit continue. Now we just have a couple more steps. So my age category is 26 to 40. And where did you hear about us? So if you heard about us on any of our social media platforms or a word of mouth, Please enter that here as it helps us know that our social outreach is working well. So now we have the terms and conditions. So we want to go and hit all three terms and conditions, but make sure to read everything before clicking. And then once you're there, you can go and hit submit. Upon submitting, we're all in and you can just choose a couple of interests just to further, further the learning. OK, 
Okay, and as it moves on, so since I'm looking at the job readiness, oh, make sure to hit your preferred language, but since I'm doing job readiness, then I'm just choosing a couple relevant skills and areas of interest that I'm looking to build in. So for myself, I'm looking a bit at project manager. So that's what I click here. And then I'm looking at doing problem solving. I am a bit interested in artificial intelligence. I like design thinking, and I also enjoy resume writing. Okay, so now with step two is we can go and review your information and make sure that it's correct. Okay, now now that we're, we've made it through the process, we don't have to go through, through the tutorial. We can skip it. And then now we're going to go and head back to our email because on the same email address that we clicked to get the IBM, we now have to go and click the enroll into your course button. So this enroll into your course, this is where all of your coursework will be recorded and will be available to you. So yeah, we can enter in now. Now that we're inside, it's it's this is where everything will always be kept. If we also go um, and being able to access this, if we go back to our email, it's important to go and flag this email to ensure that we can always go and find the way back into our course. Okay, now, now that we're here, we wanna ensure that we start tracking our progress. So we click the button on the right side of the page and there you go, we're signed up for the learning plan. So now that we're starting our progress on our courses, we can see that we have three different courses within our program. So if we go and we click our first course, this will show us if we're part of the Udemy platform or not, because Udemy is one of our learning partners. So we can see right here that the Udemy shows up as one of our partners. So upon seeing this, it's good to go and go to this activity. So clicking here, we can see that we have this welcome to Udemy business skills build. So we have to go and click the continue with single sign on. Now, if we get this screen, that means that we don't have access to the Udemy course. This can take up to a week for you to get access. So it's important to check this out right at the beginning. But if you do not have access, like you have in this screen, you will receive it within a week and you will receive an email to show that you do have access. So now if we go back to our main screen, we can go to other courses that are not part of the Udemy platform. So we can see these two on the side. So if I click here, it brings me to this next page and we can see that Udemy is not part of this at all. So we can go to this activity and we're able to complete any of the information on this page here, which will be part of your program. So now we can actually look and see if we do have Udemy access, what it will look like. So we can go here and we can click on the Udemy course. Then we can go to start this or go to this activity and then the Udemy screen will load. And this is what the page will look like if you're part of this course. Thank you for signing up with Royal Alberta College. We hope you enjoy your online learning experience.